What's up everybody? We are so excited that you are joining us for our Kid Pack service today as we begin a brand new online series called Faith Over Fear. We're going to have a great service and before we do, we have an exciting game plan for you. What is up everybody? That is right. It would not be a Kid Pack service without a boys versus girls game. Representing all the boys, we got Patrick Joey here. Yes, let's Gwinnett go, I have to say the words, Joey. Oh I have to say what I'm excited. Joey, to... Representing all the boys over here is Patrick Joey from the Gwinnett campus. Yeah, boys, come on, let me hear you scream. And for all the girls out there representing them is Patrick Camille for Woo! coming. We are gonna win it. We shall see, we shall see. This is how this game is going to work. So you'll see that we have a tower of shapes here. When we say go, these guys are gonna knock the tower down. And then they are going to have one minute to rebuild that tower as tall as they can on their side of the room. This side of the room is Camilla's side of the room. That side of the room is Joey's side yeah. of the room. Hit yourself in the face. Hit yourself in the face. Ha ah, ha! We have a minute and 15 seconds. Whoever, whoever builds the tallest tower is the winner. However, there is one more thing that can be done. What are you doing? Come this way and you will see this impenetrable fortress of colorful plastic. Inside this fortress, there lies an alligator of doom. Alligator of Doom! That's right. Either one of these contestants can run in this fortress, grab the Alligator of Doom, and chuck it at their opponent's tower, knocking it down or trying to knock it down. There's only one alligator, one toss, one chance. So good luck. Nervous. Yeah. But we're gonna win. No. All right, guys, those are the rules. Who do you think is going to win this game? Is it gonna be Joey? Oh, boys, let's go! Or is it gonna be Camille? I think we're ready to get this thing started. I hope, no. I think we're ready to get this thing started. Let's count it down in three, two, one, go! <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> What's your strategy, Joey? Build a roof call. Oh, that's a good try. Oh, it didn't work. Oh, he's going for the gator, he's going for the gator. That doesn't count. All right, all right. I think I won. Let's go, boys. Yeah. What does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> what do you think it means, Joey? <laughs> that I lose? All right, that means that the girls are the winners. That I lose? <laughs> Here's the thing, guys. You know what? Things may come in and, no. Things may come in and slam into our lives, but we don't have to fall apart. We can choose to have faith over fear. No matter what's happening, we can choose to put our trust in Jesus Christ. Faith over fear. Yeah, I kind of figured there'd be some sort of celebrating or- Yeah! Yeah! Or faith over fear! Congratulations, girls. Boys, you'll get them next time. Today, we're gonna start talking about our message for today for just a few moments. And again, we're talking about faith over fear. The title of today's message says that ours is not the spirit of fear. What that means is God has not given us, his children, a spirit of fear. That doesn't come from God. That comes from the enemy. God has given us a spirit of power and love and a sound mind. That means that God strengthens us with his faith. It gives us strength. And also that means that we can have a mind that doesn't worry, that isn't afraid, that actually has peace and is calm. That's what God gives us. So that's what we're talking about today. Ours is not a spirit of fear. The first point that I want to talk to you about says that 
fear starts in the mind, but faith, it starts in the heart. You know, we can imagine a lot of different scary things. Um, especially it's fun when you're, you know, you're a kid and you're in the basement and you turn off the lights and you start running up the stairs. I did this all the time as a kid and maybe sometimes as an adult, but I would run up the stairs and try to run as fast as I possibly could like somebody was chasing me with all the lights off. I'd slam the door behind me out of breath and I'd be like, whew, good thing I outrun that bad guy. Well, of course, that was all in my mind because fear, it begins in the mind. And when we keep feeding the fear and keep thinking those thoughts, man, our mind can go crazy. It can go all kinds of different directions. But the Bible says that faith begins in the heart because there's a great Bible verse that says, um, with the heart, man believes unto righteousness. That's when we accept Jesus into our heart. And it says, with the mouth, confession is made into salvation. What that means is our faith in Jesus Christ begins in our heart. And we can then let faith take over our mind as well. So what we're going to see in this next video is how we can fight fear with faith that is in our heart because Jesus is in our heart. Whew, I made it. I'm on top of the world. Now it's time to celebrate. Everything is awesome. Uh -huh. Everything Come is on. Cool. Uh -huh. Oh no, what happened? Everything was going great, and now I've hit rock bottom. I'm all alone. And I'm falling apart. You're not alone. Did that. You're not alone. Oh, thank goodness. Someone, or something, is down here besides me. No, I mean, yeah, but listen. Before I even got here, you were not alone. Do what? The Bible tells us that God is always with us. Whether we're celebrating on a mountaintop or our life is falling apart, God has his arms underneath us. What are you even talking about? I've hit rock bottom and my life is falling apart. I can't get any lower than this. Exactly. And God's arms are still underneath you. No matter what happens in life, good or bad, fun or scary, we know that God always has us in his arms. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Psalm 23, 4. God is always with us, so we don't have to be afraid of anything. We can have courage because we are always in God's arms, so there's no need to fall apart. Wow, thanks. You're right. And you know what? Now that I know, this place isn't so scary. Ready to go back up? Yes, please. Ooh, a spaceship. Don't touch anything. God is always with us, the Bible says. He will never leave us nor forsake us. And we should really be excited and focus on that rather than focusing on what it is that is scaring us in our mind. You see, point number two says that fear sees the problem, but faith sees the answer. And let me tell you, the answer to all the things that scare us and make us afraid is found right here in God's Word. He has all the answers for us. I'm going to read to you a couple of powerful scriptures that are the answer to us in times of fear. Psalm 34, 7 says, The angel of the Lord stands guard around those who have respect for him, for God, and he saves them. So the Lord is sending armies of angels to guard and watch over us. Psalm 34, 4 says, I looked to the Lord and he answered me. He saved me from everything I was afraid of. How awesome is that? When we look to God, he can save us from whatever it is that is making us fearful. Isaiah 41, 13 says, I am the Lord your God. I will take hold of your right hand. I say to you, do not be afraid. I will help you. And then Psalm 23, 4 says, Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no 
evil. God's Word has the answer to our fear. The answer is written over 300 times in the Bible, which God says, do not be afraid. You know guys, as we go throughout our day, suddenly it can seem like situations are coming at us at 90 miles per hour. We can be minding our own business when bam, we're hit with a thought or a situation out of nowhere. Just like this guy's about to get hit by a football player out of nowhere. Did someone say hit by a football player? <laughs> Instant replay. Now whether we like it or not, all kinds of thoughts are going to hit our minds. Good thoughts, bad thoughts, thoughts that are true, thoughts that are not true. And that is why it's so important for us to know God's Word. The enemy wants to come in and fill our head with thoughts that are not true, so we won't obey God. And that's why if we're not careful, he will come in and hit us hard. So it's important that we are spending time learning God's Word so we will be able to know the truth. God's Word! So when the enemy comes at us and says, Something bad's gonna happen to you today. We'll know that God's Word says, The Lord is my strength and shield, and I will trust Him with all of my heart. God didn't love you. The Lord is abundant in love, and because of His great love, He sent His Son to die for us. Just do what everybody else is doing. It doesn't matter, you wanna fit in, right? Blessed is the one who doesn't walk with the wicked. Let your light shine for all people to see. So when we have God's Word in our hearts, it will help us stay on the right path and we will not fall for the lies of the enemy. So dig deeper in God's Word and be like this guy. Not this guy. One more time, the answer to all of our fear is found in God's Word and we can fight fear with the Word of God. You see, because point three tells us that fear, you know what fear does? Fear focuses on past tragedies, what's gone wrong, but faith focuses on past victories. All of that is found in the Bible, full of victory after victory after victory that God has performed. And you know what? In our life, it's good for us to look back and focus on all the things that God has done for us, the past victories in our life. Let's focus on that this week. Focus on our God and His powerful, strong, mighty hand that is holding us up. Let's focus on the fact that God is with us. He will never leave us. He tells us He'll never forsake us. And He also says, don't be afraid. Say that with me. Do not be afraid. That's what God tells us. And we can really, really, really believe it. Because God's not given us a spirit of fear, but of faith, of power, of love, and of a sound mind. We're glad that you joined us today. Thank you so much for being a part of this KP service in this new series, Kid Pack Presents Faith Over Fear. And that is a word that pastor spoke over all of us in this season. Let's have faith over fear, faith instead of fear. And we're gonna have a good time together all throughout this series. We're gonna post up on our Kid Pack Instagram or on uh, Facebook at Kid Pack Ministries. So we're really excited to share with you some of the things that we have going on, which includes something that you can send to us. We have a challenge for you. What we want you to do is to go with your mom and dad and build the best tent that you can possibly build. A big tent for all of your family to gather in. And then use the hashtag KP Home Chapel. So, of course, we're not right now, at this time, meeting at Free Chapel at our church, Free Chapel, but we are meeting at home, and that tent can be your KP Home Chapel. 
See what we did there? <laughs> but we really do want you to have fun. Join us, send us your pictures. You can follow us and you can see what we have going on throughout the week. It's going to be great going through this series with you. Remember, faith over fear.